What up, fight world? This I mean, boxing club, man. Let's get to it. So, we got Geron Ennis versus Roman Villa, man. Uh, man, this year, man, 2023, man, we getting a bunch of big fights. Big fights made. The biggest fight coming up with uh, Terrence Crawford and and um, Earl Spence. We just had the Tank and Ryan fight was a, a a big fight, especially like for the casuals, people that don't really watch boxing, tune into that one. Um, Man, and, and this fight right here, it's a fight that is not big on paper, but this is a potential fight of the year uh, that we getting. Um, it's coming July 8th, too, man. So, hey, it's uh, June, so we getting it next month, man. So this going to be a good fight. All right, so Roman Villa, man, he fought Rashidi Ellis in his last fight. Roman Villa got a very high knockout percentage. Uh, I think he only, only two people survived. Um, so he knock out pretty much everybody he fight. He a pressure fighter, you know, uh, he a pressure fighter that can take, he, he can take it, he can dish it out and he can take it, man, because uh, uh, Rashidi Ellis, man, he was hitting him with a whole bunch of clean, big, big right hands and big shots, man, and Roman Villa kept coming, man. He kept coming, he never stopped coming, man, and Rashidi Ellis, I don't think he as big of a puncher as Ennis, but he still, he still can knock you out. He still got good power, man, so... We know one thing for sure. Roman Villa, he durable. Um, he started off slow, but he finished strong, man. I mean, he pretty much just he just stayed putting pressure on you the whole fight, man. He don't slow down. So it's almost like he get better as far as, as the fight go on and stuff like that. But, you know, we just got the uh, – now he going up, up against Jerron Ennis, man. Somebody like – and it's coming off of one of his worst performances. And I ain't saying worse in a, in a way like he just didn't look good. It was like the dance partner he had didn't really want to engage, man. So he won every round pretty much. But it was kind of a boring fight because of the guy just kept moving. He was he was just trying to make it through the whole 12, which he did. But uh, so we got Jerron in this, man. I think... And off the top of my head, I know Jerron in this guy like a 90 some percent knockout ratio too. You know, he knock out almost everybody he fight. And um, this is a big test for Ennis too, man, because uh, all the guys that Ennis, Ennis been in the ring with, he did what he was supposed to do. And um, it, it was some good fights. He did have some good fights, but not no like uh, this. This is going to be his toughest test for sure. Yeah. Roman Villa gonna be his toughest test for sure, man. It's gonna answer questions about. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna answer a lot of questions like how good is Ennis, man? How good is he, man? Uh, I believe in Ennis' skills, man. I think he he he's smooth and slick, man, and uh, he got power. He fast, you know. Um, I feel like this is a fight that's gonna complement his style because he like to engage. But we gonna see what's gonna happen if he not able to put this dude out. When it go into deep waters, then we gonna see how he respond to that. You know what I'm saying? So, this is a real good fight, man. Um, this is a potential fight of the year. I definitely got Ennis winning this fight, but I don't think. I think that uh, it's a very tough challenge, man. So it ain't just like he just in there with any bum or nothing like that. Cause I feel like somebody like Roman Villa, man, he can give. He can give all of the the guys in that weight class a problem, man. Not saying that he could beat all of them, but. You know, he'll like if you know if you was to put him in the ring with uh Keith Thurman, man, he could beat Keith Thurman. I could see Roman Villa beating Keith Thurman at this point in his career, and uh, you know that's saying a lot though. That's saying a lot because Keith Thurman ain't no bum, man. He just not, he just not uh in the top two or the top top three no more in that weight class. Yeah, but man, this is gonna be a good test, man. Real good test. Uh, y'all let me know in the comment section who y'all got, man. It's going down July 8th, man. If you pick uh, Ennis or Roman Villa, man, let me know how you see them winning. I see Ennis winning by stoppage. I'm going to say by stoppage. No, I'm going to say by stoppage or knockout, man. But, you know, uh, he either going to knock him out or he gonna, or the ref going to stop it, man, because he's going to take a lot of punishment. He was taking a lot of punishment against Rashidi Ellis, man, but Rashidi Ellis gassed out. Now, see, we're going to see if Ennis will gas out when all this pressure going to be put on him throughout the whole fight. You know what I'm saying? If it make it to the late rounds and stuff like that. So, real good test, man. I'm hyped up for this fight, man, because uh, 
I want people like I know like a lot of people was hating on Ennis about his last performance, man. Like he still had some things he could have worked on in that last fight. Like he should have did a better job, like cutting off the ring and and not following um forgot the guy's name, but he was following him and he wasn't cutting off the ring. But you know, uh, hopefully he learned from that fight and he um come out better. But in this fight right here, he ain't gotta he ain't gotta worry about chasing nobody, man. Uh, he gonna have to worry about keeping somebody off of him. You know what I'm saying? So. And Roman Villa, not a small guy like that. So, yeah, this is going to be a good fight, man. So, that's all I got, Fight World. It's I mean Boxing Club. Everybody like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out.